So how life's changed a lot, hasn't it, guys? It's changed so much. Um, more importantly, <laughs> relationships. Relationships have changed. I mean, us men, we are pathetic. We are so young in the head. It's unbelievable. I mean, you just turn us into compulsive liars because of our immaturity and our stupidity. And all lads can relate to this. We lie because we're so afraid of what we've done. In reality, we're just a fucking liar. So, I mean, let, let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I mean, you'll find a condom wrapper in a lad's pockets, maybe, you know, and we're, and, and automatically he's fucked some bird. That's it, he's fucked some bird. I'm ringing everyone around. I'm going on social media, he's fucked some bird. But you know what, right? The truth of the matter is, we're dickheads. We've probably just blew a few condoms up and threw them at fucking taxis because that's what we're like now. Look, tell the truth. If you're in a relationship now, your fella has come behind you and he has smacked you on the head with his cock. I fucking know it. That's what we're like. We're divvies. We're idiots. We're fucking stupid. You have been lying down on that couch one day and you just felt... You've been smacked on a cock and cheek with a cock. Because that's what we're like. We run around naked. We do silly things. We slap your tits. We're just idiots. That's what we're like. And, and then you scream out for this fairy tale wedding or this fairy tale relationship. You've got a fucking cheek. A fairy tale relationship. Okay, so you've got Belle in her flowing, glowing dress, dancing in the middle of this big hall, waiting for the beast to come in and dance with her. We've got fucking Stacy slut dropping in McCoolies, waiting for a bag of lemo from a grafter. It's not the same and it's not our fault. It's not our fault. I mean, have you ever tried to wake a woman up out of a deep sleep? The truth of the matter is, if you woke a woman up at 2 a.m. in a deep sleep, you are fucked. You've got some fucking balls waking your bed up at 2 o'clock in the morning, especially with a kiss, which we both know we wouldn't do. The cock will come out again. We'd slap you on the cheek. That's what we do. We don't get up and kiss you. That wouldn't happen. But if we did, let's say we did sneak in and we kissed you, 2 o'clock in the morning, first thing will be, where the fuck have you been? And why have you got glitter all over you? I don't know, babe. It might have something to do with every fucking cunt nowadays thinks it's reminisce every weekend and puts fucking glitter all over them. All fucking over them. And you don't exactly want this fucking Ketwig fucking wearing, pot mong smoking, fucking North Face turning over two o'clock in the morning and fucking waking you up, do you? You'd be like, fucking go to bed, you fucking hobo, you stink. Go and fucking kip on a couch. <laughs> so fairy tales, why are you asking for the fairy tale? Why do you want that? Is there a comparison with Rapunzel? I can give you that if you want. You've got fucking that nice big print. Toby and up on his fucking big white horse with this great agenda. Let down your hair so we can jump up into the mirror and make love. And then you've got fucking dad in at three o'clock in the morning, pissed, jumping out of an alpha taxi. Stay, 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 stay. Where's me fucking keys, love? It's not the same, is it? <laughs> Life's changed. Life changed. Is it for the better? I don't know. But we're just immature men. We're just silly childish you'd expect too much from us and as for the fairy tale when you're putting too much pressure on us leave it alone <laughs> let it go if we even did put our fucking jacket over the puddle for you you'd flip i fucking bought you that for your birthday you prick fucking get it up i'm not fucking washing that now we can't win we can't and we will not win there is no fairy tale <laughs>